Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the Brabazon Golf Course. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're going to give you three methods that you might be able to use to hit your draw shot. Just before we get started, in the corner of the screen you should have the details for my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram. So if you don't do already then please go ahead and follow me on those. So the draw shot. For a right-handed golfer this would be a ball which starts to the right of your target, curves towards the target and lands about on target. Now there is only one way that we can hit a draw talking about impact. We have to have the club path somewhere out to the right of the target and then we have to have the club face some amount to the left of that club path yet still being to the right of your target. How much really depends on how much draw you want to hit and how much you want the ball to curve etc etc. So there is really only one set of impact conditions which will cause that ball to move on the desired flight. There are, however, different ways of achieving those impact conditions, and we're going to go through three today. Now, the first one might be the one that many of you are trying to work towards. This method of hitting a draw would be one where you develop a golf swing where the path is to the right and the face is to the left, so we create those impact conditions. Now, when I say develop a golf swing, I would sort of talk about that as being my golf swing. When I stand to this golf ball, look at the flag, have zero swing thoughts, and execute a shot, I hit a draw. That's my natural golf swing. I don't intentionally do that. That's just the way I swing the golf club. Now, for many of you, if you stand there and you make your normal golf swing, you will probably fade it. You'll maybe slice it. So the first thing we would suggest is that you actually work with a golf professional, maybe a local pro, and develop a golf swing which naturally moves that ball on a right to left curve. What this means is ultimately, when you go on the golf course, you can just peg the ball up or approach it on the fairway, look at your target, pick your club, make your golf swing, ball draws. Fantastic. That is almost the holy grail for many of you out there who would like to draw the golf ball. Now, the second method would be one where we create the impact at setup. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we need the club path out to the right, it would make sense that I align myself out to the right. So you can see here that I've actually aimed my body significantly right of the target, which is the flag on the green behind me. Now, provided I have a fairly neutral path, this setup, provided I swing the club the same, will mean that my path is now out to the right of the target. There's part of our draw shot. We also need the club face to point more to the left of that. What I therefore can do is that setup, I can adjust the club face so it points left of where my body aim is, but right of the target. So certainly here I feel like my body aim is maybe out to the tree, to the right of the green. I have got my club face pointing somewhere towards the bunker, so it splits the, t uh, splits the, uh, the flag and the tree. So what I've got now is I've created a situation where my path will be right and my face will be left. So I've created that setup, therefore I can just hopefully make my normal goal swing and that will produce a draw. This is something that needs to be practiced quite a lot because it's very different depending on the that you use. It's going to be much harder for you to curve a pitching wedge than it is for you to curve maybe a six iron. So certainly this is something which needs to be practiced at the range, but if we can start to practice it and get comfortable using it when you're on the course and you need that right to left ball flight, you can aim to the right, face to the left, make your goal swing, ball draws back. There's our second method. Third method is actually a little bit different, and this may be one for the more skilled golfers out there, but some golfers will actually hit the draw shot by simply aiming the body out to the right. So let's maybe pick the right-hand side of the green. So I'm just gonna set myself out to the right-hand side of the green. Okay, so I'm aiming out there, and that is all they would do. So I haven't changed my club face, I've literally just aimed out to the right-hand side of the green. Now. When I'm over that golf ball, I'm visually seeing the ball flight that I require. So I'm seeing the ball flight starting on the bunker, turning to the left, landing just right of the flag, rolling a little left. And as I'm seeing that, as I'm over the ball, I'm aware of where the flag is. It's a little bit more to the left of where I'm aiming. And simply, what I will do is I will make a golf swing and I will hopefully use my skill as a golfer to position the club face more left of the path through how I release it and that ball will curve to the left. So this is a little bit more through feel. It's setting the body to the right, and it's using your skill as the golfer to reposition the club face more left of the path through the release, and that's gonna get the ball to curve. So, 
my advice would be, if you are a golfer who desperately wants to draw the golf ball, try the second method. Aim your body to the right, aim the club face to the left, get comfortable moving that ball in that shape. Then you might want to think to yourself, well, actually, I would like that to be my natural golf swing. So we can develop that. We can move you towards that style of swing. If you're a more skilled golfer, you might just want to aim yourself to the side and then get that ball to curve back. For me, I use the third method. If I want to fade the ball or draw the ball a lot more, I just simply aim where I want that ball to maybe sort of start, if you like, and then I will just use my skill and I will actually hold the face open or maybe just over rotate the face a little bit more to get that ball to draw back. And I have quite a lot of success doing that. What we would like you to do is use the method which gives you the most success. So maybe go to the area, practice area, practice these three things and you'll see that one will give you more success than the other. That's the one you should use on the golf course, not the one that you maybe think will look better or maybe one you've seen your friends use. Use the one that gives you the best results. So I'm going to hit this shot into the screen. I'm going to do three shots. I'm going to do my normal swing, which for me is just my setup. And I have a rightward path and I have a natural draw shot. So that's starting middle of the green and drawing back. Then I'm going to do the second method where I'm going to get my body set significantly out to the right. I'm going to move the club more left. So I've created the draw at setup. Okay, and that's certainly had a draw, but a little bit more shape. And then the last one is one where I just position my body somewhere out to the right of the target. And as I'm visualizing the ball flight, I just use my skill to move the ball to the left in the air. And again, that had a bit of right to left in there. So different methods. We're always trying to change impact, but there's different ways of doing that. Practice them, get comfortable with them, use the one on the course which gives you the best results, and hopefully when you need that shot, you'll be able to produce it, and that's going to hopefully lower your score. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Please hit the like button if it is. Comment in the box down below. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Well worth doing because there's loads of content on there and more being uploaded weekly. So click the link, and that'll let you do just that. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.